STEM classes in our schools are booming in popularity. Now districts are faced with tough decisions with how to fund the growing field of science, technology, engineering, and math. Denver 7 reporter Mark Boyle is in Aurora. Mark, some districts are searching for funding specifically for STEM classes. That's right here at Rangeview High School in Aurora. Some tough decisions are being made. That's because a lot of kids, a growing number, are wanting to know like how cell phones work, how they're programmed, and they want to be able to do that. That's why finding funding for STEM classes is a tough thing for any district. These robots don't look like much now, but taking an idea from conception to market is the goal of not only these Eagle Crest High School students, but the Cherry Creek District as a whole. Our belief is that every student is a STEM student and every school needs to be a STEM school. But it's funding STEM that has many districts heading to the think tank. Keeping up with the popularity is proving difficult. In Aurora at Rangeview High School, administrators threatened to cut most of the business department, including clubs, in order to satisfy demands for STEM classes. Is there an increased need for um, space in our STEM department? Yes. Is there an increased need for resources in our STEM department? Clearly. It's an idea that isn't sitting well with nearly 400 Rangeview business students. STEM is a great program. I have a lot of friends in FBLA, business, STEM, and ultimately they say business really helps them out. Even with STEM, business is a universal club that can help you in the medical field, the business field, STEM field. We checked with the five biggest districts in the state, Denver, Douglas County, Jeffco, and Aurora, all fund STEM with their overall building budget money. Adam 12 wasn't able to give us an answer. Back here in Cherry Creek, courses like this are funded with 2012 bond money, specifically steered towards STEM. Meanwhile, just a couple miles away here at Rangeview, within the last hour and since we've been working on this story, we found that the Rangeview principal has since backed off some of that stance. He now is going to allow business classes for 10th and 11th graders till they're done here at Rangeview, then reshape the program for future students. A little bit of good news for the current business students. We're live at Rangeview, Mark Boyle, Denver 7.